Horrible. Um, excuse me? Who are you talking to? Talking to myself. Well, you're doing it really loud. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. You're kind of talking loud yourself. To a person. What's the difference? Uh, I'm actually conversing with another human being. Very oh, really? different than just... To shouting. the outside observer, it's the same level of annoyance. Well, I think... An externality is a side effect that impacts somebody who wasn't involved in the decision-making process or a transaction, and it can be positive or negative. And Curb Your Enthusiasm has a couple fantastic examples of externalities. My name is Matt Rosu. This is part of a series, Economic Lessons from Curb Your Enthusiasm. You can check out the playlist for some of the others in this series. But let's go to our first clip where Larry David is not impressed by cell phone guy. <laughs> you totally deserve that. You totally deserve it. Yes, you do. On no planet is a shoe caddy a good gift. That's just a, that, what? No, uh, all right, yeah, no, no, no. I get that it was payback, but my, yeah. it's not long distance, even if it's in India. It, you, they, so I'm on the 14th hole? Okay, Lloyd, he's got back. these great what? Cuban cigars. No, so we're smoking you, these cigars. I got someone on the other line. So I reach down to take a puff. I can't hear you, it's loud. And me. all of a sudden, Lloyd goes, no, what no, the no, f you doing? Them. I'm on the other line, I'm gonna have to call you back. Call them. So I was trying to brush my teeth with an apple. It was, it was horrible, horrible. Um, excuse me? Who are you talking to? Talking to myself. Well, you're doing it really loud. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. You're kind of talking loud yourself. To a person. What's the difference? Uh, I'm actually conversing with another human being. Very oh, really? different than just... To shouting. the outside observer, it's the same level of annoyance. Well, I need to talk to my friend. I can barely okay, hear you. Okay, well, maybe if you talk lower to your friend, I'll talk lower to my other yeah, self. Uh, great, great. Okay. Yeah, good plan. Good All plan. right, good. Jesus Christ. I'm what literally sitting mind. minding my own He's been talking on his cell phone. talking to himself. The whole no, dinner. Still doing it. Do you hear that? He doesn't even think listen, he's listen, annoying. Let's think about it. He thinks he could just sit there and talk out loud and not be annoying. But do you hear that? I'm telling you. He's literally just doing it. He's just been annoying. driving me nuts Honestly, for like the I'm last 10 anyway, minutes. This is bullshit. No, can you hear him? Yeah, no, he's still talking. Wait, I got Steve on the other line. He wins. Hold on. Hey, Steve. Do me a favor. Remind me. These people, they're, they're just really great example of a negative side effect. So cell phone guy is having a loud conversation with somebody on cell phone. And Larry and everybody else in the restaurant hears the conversation. This is a pretty nice example of what we would call a negative externality. There are two people involved in the transaction the cell phone person who's in the restaurant and then the person that he's talking to, but others are negatively impacted by the conversation. That is an example of a negative externality. There is a side effect that impacts somebody in a negative way from the conversation that's happening between the two people, in this case, Larry David. So an externality, it's a form of what we would call a market failure and externalities can potentially be corrected. But first, let's take a step back. What makes an externality problematic is that too much of the product that creates the externality is going to be produced without some sort of intervention to lower the quantity. The rationale on this is that all of the costs are not reflected in the decision-making process by the buyer and the seller. Other people are impacted. So there's a particular price for the cell phone conversation that takes place. Whether you want to think of the price as the time they took, whether you want to try to work in the monthly bill cost, the price of the cell phone, there's a price that's involved for the people having the conversation. But their price does not reflect the fact that others are negatively impacted. They're incurring a cost. And if this was accurately reflected, what we would see is the supply curve would be shifted. So within economics, supply and demand create an equilibrium. And that is usually the optimal quantity you would want to see in a market. But with a negative externality, there are these extra costs. The supply curve should be reduced. The supply curve should shift to the left, reflecting the higher costs, and it means there should actually be a lower quantity in the market. Let's check out another example from Curb Your Enthusiasm where we see a negative externality. He's a straight A student, a great athlete. He was going to Stanford, all American baseball player. Play hey, 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 come on, come on, it's way too loud. I'm one okay, day, okay. 
okay. gonna be in the middle. Just whimper. Can you whimper? This is a day of celebrating Kenny's life. What are you doing? Go, go cry outside, for God's sake. So I'm not coming to enough already. You, I can't hear a thing. Shut up. Let me say some things about Kenny Funkhauser. Kenny is with us. He will always be with us. And someday we'll... Okay, at a funeral, everybody's quiet and one person is sobbing loudly. And of course, it's Larry David who's going to point this out to the person and, and make a bit of a scene with the person there who's grieving. But it is a good point to think about the fact that this one person is indeed engaging in a particular action and they are reducing the impact to everybody else around. That's another example of a side effect, the negative externality or side effect that you see. Now, there are common negative externalities and positive externalities we will discuss. The most common example of a negative externality is often thought of as pollution. And pollution, somebody buys a product, somebody sells a product, but if the product pollutes, everybody else is negatively impacted based on the cost of pollution to society. A positive externality comes in the form of vaccines. If one person decides to get a vaccine and somebody decides to sell them a vaccine, Others actually can benefit because the vaccinated person is less likely to spread a disease or an illness. So vaccines have a positive externality. Pollution has a negative externality. With these side effects, we would expect too much pollution unless there is a little bit of government intervention. And what economists usually recommend is uh, called a Pigovian tax or a Pigovian subsidy. So this would be a tax on the product that's polluting, or really the tax on the pollution itself is optimal, can get the pollution to the optimal level, or a subsidy on the product that's giving the positive externality, like a vaccine, can get the vaccines to the optimal level. Without those, you would likely see a little bit too much pollution and too few vaccinations. So the taxes and the subsidies are the way to correct for this market failure. A huge caution, and I will put a link into the description, is that markets can fail, and they can fail when you have externalities, but we know governments can also fail, and fail in a big way. So because of that, you probably need the market failure to be pretty big before you would take action, because government failures often, unfortunately, are larger than market failures. Curb Your Enthusiasm shows a couple pretty interesting cases where you have these side effects, where you have these externalities, and of course in here they're not corrected. But it gives us a good chance to investigate economics of externalities, the market failures that come from them, and the solution. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, this is part of a series in honor of Curb Your Enthusiasm's final season check out the playlist for more. Please like and subscribe and click the notifications bell. I would appreciate that. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.